How's it going people and welcome back to another video. Now here at the moment it's coming up to the end of March in the UK and it really is such a beautiful day. I've even braved it and I'm in my shorts. It wouldn't normally be this warm so I think we're experiencing a bit of a heat wave here in the UK just a sort of mini one but definitely one where I'm able to brave the shorts and break them out for the first time this year. I will not subject you to that image though. I think the thought of it is probably more than enough than you can handle. But let's get into the topic of today's video, shall we? But a little bit more about the location, first of all. Now I've picked this because even though I'm at my local park here in the UK, it looks like it could be absolutely anywhere, any other kind of treasured wilderness that I may have encountered, or yourself too. So I just think it's a nice backdrop with the lake and the trees surrounding it. You may see the odd dog paddling by, jumping in and enjoying the cool water. You may also obviously hear them of course, but as I said, really nice day to be out and filming this video and presenting it to you guys. So let's get into it. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about reframing failures, reframing your mindset towards them, and just to kind of focus more on what actually happened, the processes and the experiences, and what you can positively take out of them, rather than the fact that it was a failure and it didn't work out how you intended it would do. Failure, of course, is a negative word. Uh, we are conditioned and hardwired to obviously view it in that way but it takes a lot of effort and attention, I understand, to take yourself past that and to actually focus beyond it, almost seeing the wood through the trees, not focusing on the fact and getting too down that something didn't work out, but pulling out the processes, the things that made that an experience that you can really focus on and then draw some inspiration from and crucially learning which I think is the crux of where I'm trying to get to with this video today is focusing on the learning the actual reframing of what a failure is and focusing on that learning that you can draw out of it to power your onward journey to power how you progress and how you advance and maybe you you are looking to try again as well you would approach it differently instead of viewing the failure in the hole in the round actually focus in on the bits and the parts that didn't work out so well but conversely there will be things that went the way that you expect them to or there were things that you didn't intend and didn't expect positive or negative that can really move you forward it's crucial to be learning focused when you are trying to apply this mentality to really drawing out what you can learn, the lessons from the failing. That is the thing that you really need to get your mind into processing. So almost taking experiences where you are an active learner and then applying those to those situations where things haven't worked out the way that you intended them to. But how can you do that in practice? Well, first and foremost, being process orientated, actually looking at the whole of what actually happened and doing that almost post-mortem post on what actually took place, breaking things down into those smaller parts to be able to almost dissect it and be a bit scientific with it. Pull out the things that you did, understand what those were and try to understand where potentially things might have gone wrong where things could be improved on for the future, where you may actually be able to find synergies, something that might work in a different context. So actually being sort of process orientated and minded about how you are looking and reviewing. Reviewing really is the best way to actually look at how you reframe your failings. Except that they are actually also going to happen, that it's almost an inevitability of life. Actually, you aren't going to be able to do everything very well all the time so being almost that on that constant journey of learning and embracing that that failure is a part of the learning journey and understanding that it is an inevitability but not seeing it potentially as a negative but seeing it as an experience that will actually enrich your future growth and development i think that's really important too when you start to be more process orientated about how you go about things and actually reframing failure in that way where there is always that constant journey of learning and discovery and that's how you frame it instead of the fact that 
you are scared or you're frightened of actually failing, then you'll find yourself in a better position to be able to identify from your past experiences if you've been able to effectively learn from those challenges and those times when you have failed. You'll be able to apply those experiences and maybe spot the signs on the path that may be taking you in a wrong direction so that you can correct your course and you become better aware of being able to anticipate where things might go wrong and deviate and turn yourself away from those and then you're actually growing and developing and you are actually moving forward as a result of your previous failings and the things that you have learned from those. Reframing how you view failure is going to take time and it is going to take conscious effort. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It is a skill that you have to constantly cultivate and nurture and apply in order to become better at it and also to rewire your mindset around what failure means to you. Is it an opportunity to grow? Is it an opportunity to progress? Is it an opportunity to understand things better? The stuff that you're striving towards and the things you really want to achieve or do you find yourself languishing too long in that space where you're not able to overcome that initial event occurring? I think we can pull a little bit of stoicism into that, that events just are, and then the emotions and the feelings that we attach to those events, the feeling of failure and rejection in that circumstance is something that we bring to it and it's something that we can actually control and change our mindset around. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, but thanks for joining me on this video. Why not, while you're here, check out some of the other videos on the channel too. I've been doing a bit of experimentation and you'll find that there's a couple of different things that have taken me off the main path of what I actually created this channel to be about. But it's been nice to do those things to actually learn and grow and just try something different and pull myself out of the comfort zone too. As I said, why not while you're here, check out some of the other videos on the channel too. And why not while you're here also, subscribe if you want to join me on this journey. It would be great to have you on board. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.